Well, this should be wicked good, folks. Hey there, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. And we're looking at Sam Adams' new wicked IPA party pack. We've got four different IPAs in here. We've got Wicked Easy, Wicked Tropical, which is new, uh, Wicked Hazy, and Wicked Double. Now, only one of these is new to me. It's new to the pack. A couple of people mentioned this was out. I saw the, the promo on Sam Adams' website. Thank you, Will H., for giving me the heads up as to where I could find this locally. Um, took me a little while to get around to it, but I did finally get out there and grab one. So, yeah, Wicked Party Pack. Wicked IPA Party Pack. I guess we're just going to get right into this. We're going to kick it off with the beer with an identity crisis. <laughs> Now, when Sam 76 was first released um, by Sam Adams, it was billed as uh, like the perfect blend between a lager and an ale. Um, at some point, they decided to, I guess they reformulated it or they at least rebranded it. It's still Sam 76, but it was a light, hazy lager. Uh, eventually, they gave up on the Sam 76 label. Oh. Don't want the heat kicking on. It's noisy enough in here as it is. They um, gave up on the Sam 76 label and they changed it to Wicked Easy around the same time that they rebranded their New England IPA as Wicked Hazy and also released the Wicked Double. So then the Wicked Easy came out and it was, you know, previously Sam 76, a light hazy lager. Now it's Wicked Easy, a light and hazy session IPA. So is it a lager? Is it a hazy session IPA? What the fuck? Um, it always did have a little bit of a hoppiness to it. Um, and it's a beer that I have had like this, I want to say a love-hate relationship with, but there's no, it's not much love there. How about a, um, uh, a like, a tolerate, a tolerate hate relationship with. Uh, because at one point, Sam 76 was making its way into all of the seasonal packs. And it was right alongside the Boston Lager. First off, you're giving up two. And uh, Boston Lager belongs there. I'm all for that. It is their flagship beer. And it's one that I like and I'm willing to drink all the time. I go out of my way to get it sometimes. But the Sam 76 had no place in those variety packs. It's just a lighter, easier drinking beer. Absolutely got no problems with it. I don't hate it. I don't actively dislike it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. And I don't want it in my seasonal variety packs, especially not the winter and fall ones with the heavier beers. Anyway, th this is old news for some of you folks, but I just feel the need to rehash it as the beer has once again <laughs> got a label change. Um... But yeah, they eventually kicked it out of the seasonal packs. That was great. But now Wicked Easy, which was a light, hazy lager, is now a light and hazy session IPA. So with a little bit of hoppiness to it, I, you can call pretty much anything an IPA if it's got hops in it. Honestly, if it's an ale with hops, you can call it an IPA. But then again, India Pale Ale, this was previously a light and hazy lager. So what the fuck is it? Is it a lager or an ale? And honestly, the only real big difference is the type of yeast used and where it ferments. But um, anyway, enough about that. We're just going to take a look at Wicked Easy as it is now. A light and hazy session IPA, 4.7% ABV with only 12 IBUs. Here we go. I'm going to try to keep the other beers shorter. But the more of them I get into my, my liver, the less I can promise shorten to the point reviews. But those of you who have been watching the channel know that. All right, so it seems more bubbly than it has been in the past, or maybe I just got a different pour on it. Um, but that is definitely effervescent. There's a lot of bubbles coming up through that, and it is a very nice, light, pale yellow color with some haze to it. More haze than I would have expected from a, a lighter beer, but still, not too bad. 
and I could smell the hops as I was pouring it out, which is odd because it's only 16 IBUs, I think it said. And, but I was getting a good hop aroma or maybe a little citrusy. But just a, an overall nice light grainy aroma with a hint of hoppiness and some citrus. I'm not picking up on the hop aroma as much as I was when I freshly poured it, so that's odd, but... Nice, light, crisp, easy to drink. It's actually got a, a, a medium light mouthfeel, so there's a little bit of body to it. Mm. It's got like this cool crispness to it. Um, it almost feels cool as it rolls off the tongue. But yeah, mostly just a nice light graininess. With a clean finish. And there's a there's a tad of hoppiness there, just a just a hint of an overall hoppy bitterness. I'm not getting any specific hop esters, which is odd because I'm getting a hint of citrus, but it doesn't seem like hoppy citrusiness. It almost seems like uh, it's probably the hops because there's nothing else in there that could be causing it to be citrusy. But yeah, nothing crazy, nothing out there, just a, pardon, nice, easy drinking beer that's going to go down pretty fast. As uh, as always, well, honestly, today I'm feeling a little magnanimous, I think is the word, generous anyway. Um, I'm going to hit it with a 3 out of 5. I'm going to give it some credit for being a slightly above average beer just because of its easy drinkability. There's nothing, like I said, nothing mind-blowing in there. There's nothing too forward, but it's just easy to drink and pardon. It's good. Never had anything bad to say about this beer, even though I don't know what it's going to be two weeks from now. Anyway, I'm going to finish this one up, and we're going to move on to the next one. It'll either be the Wicked Hazy or the um, Wicked Tropical, I think, because the Wicked Double, even though it has the higher ABV of all of them, it's got the it's also got the highest IBUs, and when you're doing IPAs or hoppy beers, you want to go low IBU to high IBU. <laughs> Pardon, because nothing will wreck your palate faster than hops. Um, doesn't matter how light or dark the beer is, because normally you would go from light to dark when you're doing tastings, but when it comes to hoppy beers, you want to go from the lower IBUs to the higher IBUs. Again, not new information for a lot of you, but, you know, just in case I'm covering the basics here. All right. So, interesting fact... <laughs> Apparently, the Wicked Tropical and the Wicked Double actually both come in at 30 IBUs, whereas the Wicked Hazy comes in at a 35. So it's it, it it's probably less hoppy, but it has more bitterness to it. And again, the IBUs is basically the way to go to determine how bitter the flavor is. And a double, or even a triple, isn't necessarily going to have a more bitter flavor. It's just going to have a different type or punch or combination of hops in there or a different um, level used in brewing, but that doesn't necessarily determine that it's going to be more bitter in the finishing process when it's done being brewed. So anyway, um, we're going to go with the Wicked Tropical next. So Wicked Tropical at 6% ABV and 30 IBUs. Okay, here we go. And again, the only new one in this pack, and it's also new to me. I don't know if it's available outside of this pack, honestly. Wow, that is... It looks thick, because it is quite hazy. Um... <sighs> Sweet and fruity from all the way back here. Huh. Oh! 
<laughs> that is definitely hazy, um, cloudy even. Slightly effervescent, although I can see a lot more bubbles inside here. They're just well obscured by the haziness of the beer. I mean, this looks like a, a lemonade, honestly. It, it's got that nice yellowish, light yellowish color to it. But as it gets hazier, less and less light is getting through. Um, I mean, it definitely looks like something that I would call a tropical drink. Hmm. Got a nice aroma to it. I'm getting hints of fruit. Nothing specific. Um, am I smelling like coconut? Maybe. I mean, I know there's some hops, hop varieties that have been developed that are able to impart like a coconut ester, a coconut flavored ester to their, to their beer, so it's possible. I'm willing to bet one of the fruits is pineapple too then, because, you know, coconut and pineapple obviously is a tropical thing. Yeah. <laughs> can't put my finger on that. It's got a nice, um, actually a medium heavy mouthfeel. It's got some, some real body to it. Um, I'm getting just a general fruitiness. I'm getting a hint of coconut, definitely some distinct pineapple. A bit of citrus, nothing specific in terms of citrus. Not, I can't like to separate grapefruit or orange or lemon or anything. But in the finish, there was something familiar, like a, a bitter fruitiness that I just can't put my finger on. Tide of tropical notes like papaya and, and coconut surge at you from this new IPA. Wicked Tropical is a juicy, smooth hop tsunami with notes of pina colada and pineapple. A pillowy mouthfeel, yeah, and lingering sweet finish. It's like a vacation that sticks with you. Who doesn't need that? I think it's papaya that I'm getting because uh, papaya, it's been a long time since I had any. And I usually eat it in like a dried, you know, dried fruit mixed bag. But it does, it has a pretty unique flavor, but there's a hint of bitterness to the fruit as well. So I think that was the one I couldn't put my finger on, but yeah, it's definitely tropical. It's good. I'm liking it. It reminds me of things like um, Kona's uh, Gold Cliff, I think it was. It was like a pineapple um, heavy, pineapple flavor heavy IPA. And um, some of the more tropical ones put out by Stone, like um, Scorpion Bowl, stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's unique. It's definitely different in and of its own right. It's not exactly like those or anything. I'm just drawing some comparisons here. <laughs> Boy, these ones are making me burp a lot. Um, wow. I think I'm going to hit this with a 4 out of 5. I'm really digging it. It's good. It's different in that that they described it on the label as pillowy mouthfeel, and I can, I can see that. It's very smooth. It's got just enough body that you know it's there, but not so much that it's overwhelming, and it's not so light that you're, you know, able to drink it really fast, but... Yeah, definitely a four out of five. There's nothing in nothing in here that's unique or different or special to this beer. I've had um, different flavor combinations that come close, like I mentioned those others. Um, the papaya might be a bit of a different touch, but it's also just kind of an overall tropical fruit flavor. Uh, so it's not quite blowing me out of the water, but I also have nothing bad to say about it. I just don't find it to be unique or different enough to push it up to the four and a half or the full on five category. 
So I'm, I'm resting it solidly at a four. Pretty damn good. Um, maybe it'll come out in, in six or 12 packs and it'll be ready to go for the summer. That This would be an awesome summer beer. Um, all right, I'm going to finish it up, and we are going to move on to the, the Wicked Double before the Wicked uh, wicked Hazy, which, again, is odd, but I'm going by IBUs, not by, you know, style of beer. So, And honestly, it might be a good idea to get the 8.3% Wicked Double out of the way before I hit the 6.8% Wicked Hazy. It'll give me a chance to come up and then, you know, level out a little bit. All right, so we are up to the Wicked Double. I... I'm not going to go over the whole spiel again, but I'm definitely surprised that I'm putting this before the Wicked Hazy. You know, I'm just thinking that we got Wicked Easy, Wicked Tropical, Wicked Hazy, Wicked Double. They should put together like a triple IPA or some kind of uh, a quad. I don't even know if that's a thing, IPA, but something like totally hop down and call it Wicked Pissa. Right? <laughs> All right, you folks from New England. We'll get that one. Um, anyway, all right, enough of that. Wicked Double Hazy Juicy Double New England IPA style. Now, I was thrilled when this one came out, actually, because, like I said, I saw the little press release saying that um, Wicked Hazy was the new name for their New England IPA, and Sam Adams' New England IPA was really one of my go-tos. Um, I wish Rebel... IPA was still as available as it was before, and it's different iterations. Rebel Raw was fucking amazing. Um, anyway, I digress. But no, the New England IPA was one of my go-tos uh, for a Sam Adams IPA or any IPA, honestly. But, so when Wicked Double came out, and I'm like, it's a double version of their New England IPA. It's going to be awesome. And... It is pretty awesome. All right, see, so like I said, only one of these is new to me, and I have reviewed them on the channel before, so no surprises. Now, whereas the last one, pardon, looked like a bit of a lemonade, this one's closer to an orange juice. It's definitely got the same haziness as the tropical. It's very hazy, very thick-looking. Uh, a few less bubbles being able to be seen through the haze, so it's a little less effervescent, but still quite a good number of bubbles in there, um, but it's got a darker, more orange hue to it. Uh, still mostly yellow, but has a slight orange hue to it. And I think, no, there's no particulates, so that's definitely a very fine haze in there. I'm getting an overall hoppy bitterness. Nothing in particular coming through, though. Just a basic hoppy bitterness. And it's actually kind of subdued. It's, it's not like hitting me in the face or anything. But again, it's a 30 IBU beer, so... Got a bit of a medium heavy mouthfeel, so definitely some serious body to it. Just a very, very slight hint of booziness at 8.3% ABV. It's gonna it's gonna have that. Most of them will. Um, but the, the amount of the hoppiness of this beer is definitely covering up most of that booziness. Um, it's it's smooth, easy drinking, and it kind of rests on the tongue for a second, and then after you swallow is when it hits you with a really big punch of hoppy bitterness, and it lingers. It lingers as I'm talking after swallowing it. The more airflow I'm getting over my palate, I'm still getting bitterness and hoppiness. Up front, 
there's actually a hint of earthiness to it for me. Now, I'm mostly keyed toward citrus and pine, so I'm impressed by any beer that hits me with any different hop esters than those two, and especially one that it's getting that forward and primarily, uh, or not necessarily primarily, but at least forward. But I'm getting that, that earthiness, but there's a hint of floral right behind that. But I'm also getting some grassy notes, some dankness, and again, the, the citrus and pine are there too. Whew, pardon. They're almost kind of blending together into just that overall hoppy bitterness. But as I'm sitting here, I can... I can distinctly separate them out as they're coming forward throughout the the experience and they're not necessarily all coming forward in the same order. I'm still getting that earthiness followed by floral and then grassiness but then everything else, the, the citrus, the pine and that dankness, they're just kind of there and they're competing for attention in the finish. So I'm getting a lot of different hop esters from this. I'm, it's smooth, easy to drink for something that is so high in ABV so it's deceptively easy to drink and you can get yourself in trouble with this really fast. I think I mentioned that when I reviewed it by itself originally. Um, it's it's good. It's a well put together IPA, double IPA, and I'm really, really liking it. You know, uh, today, I don't know what I've given it in the past, but today I'm hitting it with a five out of five. And it's not because there's anything new, unique, or different in it, and I know I made this point with with the tropical, but for this one, it's just such a well balanced, well balanced and perfectly put together beer. It's got everything I'm looking for, and I'm getting that that wow reaction that I'm looking for out of a perfect beer. Now, if the past experiences are any indication, it's probably going to be a similar story with the with. <laughs> with the Wicked Hazy as it was when it was still just New England IPA before. I mean, we're still going to run through it, but, um, you know, there's there's no mysteries in, in that particular beer. I'm always on top of that one. And I have reviewed it on the channel both as the, um, the New England IPA and as Wicked Hazy. I don't think it's been in any other variety pack, so probably just twice. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to take a little more time with this one um, than I did with the first two because of the heavier ABV and the fact that I'm just really enjoying it so much. Not that I didn't enjoy the other two, but um, it's time to slow down a little bit. Anyway. That's where we're at. All right, and here we are at the fourth and final beer in this pack, Wicked Hazy, which is a juicy New England IPA at 6.8% ABV and 35 IBUs. All right. And like I said, <clears throat> for those of you who have been watching the channel for a while there aren't any surprises here but I guess personally I was surprised because I didn't realize that this actually is a five IBUs over and above the Wicked Double but like I mentioned before that IBUs aren't necessarily I mean double triple single IPA not necessarily an indicator of what the end result IBU number is going to be. Because it has to do with the way it's brewed. Now, <clears throat> actually, a little bit lighter and a little, well, about the same haziness as the, uh, the double. It's got a lighter yellow color and it doesn't get as dark as the double did up here, where the the haze and the glass itself get thicker, but still, nice light yellow color, little tint of orange, but again, not as not as orange as the double was. A 
plenty of bubbles, actually less. I got a better head on it, but I'm seeing less bubbles, a lot less bubbles than I did with the double. So much less effervescent. A bit of a general hoppy aroma, but not as pronounced as the double. <laughs> you seeing a theme here? But I'm getting more citrus in the aroma than I was with that. Nice medium mouthfeel, not as much body. Up front, big, juicy, citrusy hop flavor. I mean, still smooth, easy to drink with a nice crisp finish. That's kind of a theme for a lot of these, pretty much all of them. But yeah, really juicy, pretty citrusy with a pine finish. And there might be some hints of earthiness and dankness in the middle there. Just smooth and delicious. Again, it, it's a five out of five for me. It's just this really well put together, perfectly balanced IPA that just hits the spot. I've always loved the New England IPA from Sam Adams with the Wicked Hazy, which is basically what the New England IPA used to be. I said mostly citrus and pine, citrus up front, pine in the finish, hints of earthiness, a little bit of grassiness, maybe some dankness, and a tiny bit of floral. Again, all of those different hop esters are there, just the um, two of them are, are more pronounced than the others, whereas I had a different experience with the double. <clears throat> But the fact that it is so well balanced and put together, that's why I'm giving it the 5 out of 5 as well. Sometimes it's not about the wow factor or the uniqueness. Sometimes it's just about a very well put together beer. Um, and Boston Lager gets a 5 out of 5 for me every time. Stone's Arrogant Bastard gets a 5 out of 5 for me every time. <laughs> Bigelow, local brewing company in Skowhegan, Maine. If you're in the area, check them out. They're fucking awesome. Um, their Lying Bastard Ale it gets a 5 out of 5 for me every single time, just because the, those particular beers, including two out of this pack, are so well put together and so perfectly balanced. They're, they're just great. Anyway, overall, you got two 5 out of 5s and a 4 out of 5. And, of course, you know, that red-headed stepchild that we just can't seem to shake. What's now called Wicked Easy. Again, the beer with a, an identity crisis. I'm not going to run through that whole spiel again, but... <clears throat> worth the money. Definitely worth it. You know, throw those Wicked Easies in the back of the fridge. You can finish them off once you've drank all the other ones. Mm -hmm. But that's just my opinion on these beers. I know a lot of people like the Wicked Easy a lot more than I do. So hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. Love to hear what you have to say about any of these four beers or the pack itself in general. While you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And once you're subscribed, click on that little bell icon so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Have a wicked good time. Cheers. And if anybody from Sam Adams is watching, that wicked pissa was my idea. You better give me credit for it if you use it.